Hello, hello, everybody. Waterbury here with a word. Okay, got some quick tea. Um, and so what I want to talk about is just the current energies going on. I have a weekly energy coming up to speak on this and an eclipse reading coming up to speak on this. But I want to just make this video. I'm feeling very passionate, so I want to just share with you guys really quick. Um, currently, we have Mars in Pisces. Okay. And I actually was surprised, you know, with all of what's going on, all the push for um, change and justice and, you know, people taking action. I was like, wow, you know, Mars and Pisces, because you always look to Mars to see how action is being taken. And Mars and Pisces is not a very strong placement. But the thing about it is the reason people are taking action is because of injustice within humanity. Okay. People are pushing for equality and pushing for um, unity. And that's what Pisces stands for. Pisces is the last zodiac sign about the full incorporation of it all. Okay. And so since we're not all treated like the all, you get what I'm saying? This is sparking. This is what that, um, you know, this movement is about. Okay. And why you're seeing this, right? We're going to be making a post coming up soon about the Black Lives Matter, the birth chart of Black Lives Matter. Um, not only is the North Node sitting on the natal Mars of the Black Lives Matter movement's birth chart, but also right now, currently Mars is sitting on the Chiron, the wounding place of the Black Lives Matter movement's birth chart. And so notice, you know, that that wound is, is sparked up in the collective right now. Um, and we're acting on that. Okay, but I have a, that's another post. I got a lot coming for you guys about this information. I want to make sure I'm sharing a lot. Um, and also from my perspective, an astrological perspective as well, okay, because it's also very informative from that perspective. But with what's going on right now, this is that push you're seeing with this Mars, you know, energy, really asking people, you know, put yourself in someone else's shoes, okay? Um, connect with others around you, even if it's not about you, you get what I'm saying? And that's what I'm seeing a lot as well, of just people looking and taking people accountable, even if you can't necessarily relate can you put yourself in someone else's shoes and honor that what they're going through is different from what you go through? Okay. Um, that's what a lot of people are pushing for in this movement. Okay. I'm also noticing there are some people um, kind of speaking on, okay, well, you know, we're in 2020 now. Let's get past race and let's see everyone as we are. And yes, that's true. Okay. See everyone as the whole. But to me, that's like, you know, when you first get into spirituality, you kind of see it as that's like just being overly positive you know what i'm saying i'm just going to be super positive and that's going to heal my life no you know yes that's the goal you know and it's to be uplifting your goal is to have you know a peaceful mind and to be you know see everything from an optimistic point of view but if you don't honor the darkness within you and you don't honor the uncomfortable feelings and you don't honor you know the past and don't honor what occurred you're never going to truly be at peace Okay, and so yes, I do agree that it is about moving forward and is about leaving all this, you know, racial discrimination. But until we actually put that to rest and actually put progressive effort to handle the situation, we can't just say, oh, let's move into something new and embrace everyone as they are because we're not at that level yet. You get what I'm saying? We're not there yet. Okay, like in my spiritual journey, there's a lot more. I can embrace a lot of peace and that kind of thing because I've been working on myself for years. But back in the day, I, every day was a journey because I had to dive within myself, okay? And so until we take the actual effort and energy to make this change, we're going to keep seeing this cycle repeat because people keep getting kind of tired of seeing things and pushing it aside or because they don't have, you know, the personal experience to connect with a, a, an issue, they push it aside. But the second it's an issue that they're dealing with women's rights or LGBT rights, you know, they're ready to fight. But you know, if, if it's not your issue, can it still can you still connect because, you know, another person's issue is yours. If it's not a personal, you know, a personal problem, let's say, you know, it's like a weight issue or something. But even that, because that's a lot of, because of how society, you know, promotes nutrition. But regardless, a, a grand scale systematic issue, um, people are looking for that support and that connectedness, regardless of whether you've been through it. And think about in conversation when you're asking, you know, for support from someone, you're going through something and you want to talk to someone about it. You don't want them to just be like, well, I haven't experienced that, so just go to somebody else. No, you want someone to open their mind and, and even if they haven't experienced what you've been through, listen to you and honor what your experience, validate your emotions, validate who you are and what you've been through, your truth. Okay, so that's what people are pushing for now. And that Mars and Pisces is really strongly what that's about. Okay. Now I want to speak on really quick, 
this eclipse coming up this week, which is starting the next eclipse season that's going to be holding for the next six months, which is why the eclipse video is very important that I'm going to be coming out with. I'm taking a lot of time to get it right. Um, and also tune in with my weekly energy reading that I talk a lot about it as well. But this next eclipse season is literally squared by Mars, okay? And it's the first eclipse we're going to have in the energy of Sagittarius since 2011 through 2013, okay? And so, um, with the square to Mars, this is a lunar eclipse about releasing and shedding and culmination, and it's in Sagittarius about your beliefs, okay? Many people have now been shifting what they believe, what they see is true, what they believe, you know, the police should do, what they believe the government should do, and this is outside of just the Black Lives Matter movement, but also notice the coronavirus has been going on for a while. People have been shifting what they believe relief looks like, so many different things, okay? And with this eclipse coming up this is going to be a really a major mental change and a releasing of a lot of past beliefs people had and then people are going to be looking at the actions they need to take from that which is that square to mars okay i talk a lot about this again in the other videos but i just want to bring this up so that you can get this energy um and, and i want to speak on this what's going on okay um the last thing i want to say we're at the end of a venus cycle and literally on wednesday we have a new cycle beginning okay in October of 2018, Venus was retrograde and met with the Sun, okay? And this is the inferior conjunction, and this started a cycle, right? And during this conjunction, which is going to be the same conjunction happening on Wednesday, the, the Venus is basically in between, in a perfect alignment, the Earth and the Sun. So that's a, a new beginning, okay? Um, and then this new beginning is going to hold until... Um, we're going to have a full culmination of this in March of 2021, okay? So we're starting a new two-year cycle, but we're going to see the full results of this energy next year, okay? So just look back to October of 2018. There was something you were beginning in relationships, something you were beginning in your self-worth. It depends a lot on where it was in your chart. Um, for me, it was in my second house, so it was a big, strong journey of self-value for me, um, value myself. And then whatever started then... There was a culmination of it in August of 2019, okay, because that was when the sun met with Venus again, but it was when Venus was on the other side of the sun. So it's like Venus, the sun, and then Earth, okay, in a line. And that's the culmination, the full moon energy of what was started in October 2018. So whatever started in October 2018, there was some kind of full culmination by August of 2019. Then we've been shedding and, and, and handling that until Wednesday when we have this new start and the same energy. Okay, um, and so just notice all this energy around. I wanted to just make this video because I just want to kind of explain what's going on from a you know higher perspective of things, um, and so you can also see that it, everything you know that that goes on is exactly in alignment with the astrology. It's all planned out. Spirit knows what it's doing. Okay, um, the divine always has us in their hands. Okay. Um, and so I just wanted to bring this up for you guys. Mars is the main reason we're pushing for unity um, and, 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 you know, defense of the humanity, which is literally what Mars and Pisces represents. Um, this is going to continue with the eclipse coming up because it's going to be squared exactly to Mars. And it's going to be really shifting beliefs for people over the next six months. And then we have this new journey in relationships coming up this week as well. Okay, so a lot coming up. I just wanted to get this out there. Um, hopefully this brought information for you guys. Stay tuned. More videos are on the way. Much love, guys. I'm always here for you. Water Bears out.